Creating a pricing table with HTML and CSS using the latest Bootstrap 5 is what we'll be doing in today's video. I've got this cool example of a pricing table that we're going to create. And I'm going to take you through the whole process of setting up all the HTML and CSS to create this pricing table. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. Let's start by opening up VS Code and creating a new file here called index.html. Since we're going to be using Bootstrap for this, we'll head to the v5.getbootstrap website and we'll head over to docs. Over here, I want to copy over the starter template and we're going to use this to create our content. This will just import a few things such as the Bootstrap style sheet here as well as the JavaScript that it basically uses. But most of this we can get rid of. Let's update our title here to be pricing table HTML CSS. And what we want to do is create our content. And we'll start off with something simple such as the title. In this case, I'm going to create a h1 tag here called pricing and hit save on that. We're going to hit F1. And I'm going to open up a live server so that we can see these changes live. Let's copy this across and we're going to have this just here on the side while we're working with our page so that we can see what's happening. Now, in terms of the content and layout for this, we want this to be inside of a container. So I'm just going to create a container class over here and we're going to have our H1 tag in here. We want to do a few things. The first is we're going to add a custom bootstrap class in here called display dash four. And this will just customize the layout for this, making it a little bit thinner and bigger. We also want to add some text in here with a lead. So I'm going to add in a P tag here with lead and we're going to add some text in here. In this case, we're going to write in quickly, build an effective pricing table with bootstrap five. Great. Let's make sure we spell that correctly. Bootstrap five. Perfect. So there we go. Now, in terms of this text over here, what we want to be able to do is have this inside of a text center. So I'm going to place this in our container class and this will center everything nicely. So that looks a lot better. The other thing we want to do is add some padding to it. So I'm going to add padding on the Y axis of maybe about five units. So this will just give it some padding from the top and the bottom. Otherwise, I think that looks OK. Let's add another container class over here. And here we'll design the table for our um, essential pricing list. We want a number of items of content in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a H4 class here with the word free. And this is our first item in our table. We want to have a price for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slightly larger tag here. So a H1 tag or we'll a pass in zero dollars. And I'm also going to add in a small tag here and we're going to pass in a monthly amount. So in this case, maybe um, forward slash MO. Now, right now we don't have much styling on this. So let's actually style it a little bit. I'm going to pass in a class for the H1 tag here. And what I want to be able to do is create maybe a pricing class or something like that, that makes this a little bit more unique. So in this case, I'm going to pass in my dash O, which will make zero margin for the top and the bottom for this H1 tag. And I'm also going to pass in font weight normal. And this will just make sure that it's not too heavy. This should get us started. The next thing here is on this small tag. What I want to be able to do is add in a class to make it less visible. So I'm going to pass in text muted and this class will make it a little bit gray as you can see there. So that looks a little bit better. Now, this whole class here also needs a list of features. So in this case, I'm going to pass in a UL list with an LI item in here. And maybe we'll add a few entries in here, such as 10 users included. Maybe another one here. Whoops, let's close that off. Uh, let's do uh, two gigabytes of storage and spell that correctly. 
Uh, let's do another one here, maybe uh, email support and maybe one more list item, help center access. So that looks good. We've got our list of items there, but in order for this to look a little bit better, we're gonna add a bootstrap class here called list unstyled. And this will just remove the styling from the list. So that way it doesn't have all those dots. We'll also add a little bit of margin. So I'm gonna do margin top of three units, maybe margin bottom of maybe four units. Now, the reason I'm doing this margin is because we'll probably place this all in a card. So let's create a card class here. And with this card class, it usually has two parts to it. It has a card header, and this is all bootstrap stuff. And it also has a card body. Here in the card body, body we'll paste in most of our content and that looks okay. But in terms of our card header, we'll paste in the free section over here. So let's make this all nice and neat. And we can see our first item here for our pricing list is more or less done. It's starting to look good. Now, this whole card here, I'm thinking that it should be centered. So I'm gonna copy over this text center class and that should make it all nice and centered. It also will need a few items in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this in a row. And for this specific card, I'm gonna wrap this with a column because we're gonna have a few columns in here. This will be our very first one. Now that we have most of this, we can collapse it down and we can create another column in here. And as soon as we do, we can see we've got most of the spacing done in there quite well. What we wanna do is create our second item in here. And for our second item, we're gonna create a pro price. And in here for the price, we might do say $15. Otherwise, we might just double some of these aspects and hit save and there's our pro row. Then we'll create maybe one more row and this might be called something like business. And for this one, we'll do the price a little bit higher, maybe $30 a month and we'll double this again or triple it. So let's hit save on that and we've got our three items there. So that's looking pretty good. Now for our columns, let's actually make them a little bit smaller and see what happens. And when we do, we can see that currently they're not very responsive and we do want them to be responsive. So let's have a look at how we can do that. One of the new bootstrap classes, which is row calls one, allows us to define how many columns in a row. Now, if we hit save on that, we can see that it's now responsive. But the problem is that if we expand this out, it's always one column. So in order for this to be responsive, we are going to add in one more in here, which is rows calls MD3. And this means that on the MD viewport, it'll be three columns per row. So let's hit save on that. And when we expand it out, we should see that it goes to three columns in terms of our design. The only thing we're missing now is maybe some margin on our columns. So I'm gonna pass in a margin bottom of four units and we'll pass this into each one of our items over here. So when we do, we can see that we've got a little bit of margin here between each one of our items once we collapse, which is pretty cool. Now that we have a lot of this done now, we can stylize these inputs a little bit more. So what I'm thinking is maybe adding some shadow to our cards. We can do this simply by passing in shadow and maybe a value. So if we pass in SM, we get a tiny little shadow. But for example, if we wanted a larger one, we could pass in say LG, and this way we get a larger shadow. It really depends on what you're going for, or you can combine a few different ones here. So for example, you might have the pro one standing out a little bit more, and there's an example of that. And I think that's pretty good. Now, in terms of this pricing list, we also need a few buttons. And in terms of the buttons, we've got a few different options, but let's create our very first one here on our free one. So I'm just gonna pass in button with a class of BNT and maybe a uh, class of BNT outline primary. And in this, we'll call this sign up. So let's hit save on that. And we can see that it's over here. Now we want this button to be a little bit bigger. So to be able to do that, we'll pass in B and sorry, BTN and um, maybe LG. So let's pass that in here and we can see the button's a little bit bigger now. We also want it to expand out to the full size of the row. So we'll need to make sure it's a block. And in order to do that, we can simply pass in BTN block. 
and this will stretch it out all the way. We can copy this class out and put this out to our other items here. But if we do that, we probably want a different style. So in this case, I might remove the outline here and save it just like that and create another one down here. So now we've got our three pricing items and they're looking pretty good. That's, uh, that's most of the pricing list there done now. And if we resize this, we can see that it fits in nicely here. It's nice and responsive. And as we expand it out, it looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a simple example of how to create a pricing list with Bootstrap without even using too much CSS, just using mainly the classes that Bootstrap 5 now delivers. And this is a pretty cool pricing list, and it's probably one I could see myself implementing on my own website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.